This year is starting out with a bang. This coming Tuesday, Google is holding a press event at its Mountain View campus where they're expected to unveil a new Google cell phone. Like Apple's iPhone, this device would be made with Google applications in mind. In 2010, the e-reader war begins. Amazon's Kindle is the reigning champ, but the recently released Sony e-reader is gaining in popularity. And on February 1st, Barnes & Noble's digital book reading gadget will be released on the market. It's called the Nook and offers a partially colored screen and access to more books. In 2010, the first 3D living room televisions will hit the market. TV manufacturers and content providers are staying tight-lipped about how these will work and what the experience will actually be like. But the speculation is you won't need to wear special glasses to enjoy the third dimension, and everything from video games to movies will be offered on 3D TVs. And 2010 is definitely the year of the Apple tablet, or as some call it, the iSlate. These are artists' mock-up pictures circulating the internet of what it might look like. It's basically Apple's version of a netbook. It will be a small touchscreen portable laptop like a big iPhone. It's expected to hit the market this spring. This will be a big year for electric vehicles. This cool-looking sports sedan, the Chevy Volt, will land in dealership showrooms this year. At first, it will only be sold in California, so we'll be the first ones to see these on the road. In 2009, the Apple App Store created an entirely new tech trend that exploded fun and useful applications for your mobile phone. In 2010, we can expect hundreds of thousands of more mobile apps for all types of phones, not just the iPhone. Business, video games, social networking, GPS-related apps, and anything else you can think of will soon be offered for your cell phone. And lastly, unfortunately, this year we can expect more hacking from cyber criminals into Facebook, Twitter, and other social networking websites we depend on. Like in 2009, these sites will continue to shut down for hours at a time when these incidents happen. All you can do is be patient and make sure you have no important private or financial information stored on these sites. Gabe Slate, Cron4 News.